you know, we have a percentage that comes out of our sales every night and it actually goes into two different accounts. So we have one uh, split that goes into like an owner's savings account for the owners for dividends or draws or, you know, whatever you'd like to call it. And then we have one part of the split that goes into our salon savings account. And that is a blessing in itself because we've always had the salon savings account portion and, you know, a small, you know, the small part for the owners and the savings account. But I'll tell you what, I don't know that we're as determined to save money and, you know, transfer money as they are. But when COVID hit, um, that savings account saved our salon. And I'm not lying and I'm not embarrassed to say this, but the savings account that they had set up for us, by the time COVID was done and we were getting ready to reopen, I mean, we were down to literally, I don't even know that we had $5 in there, you know? And as soon as we opened up and as soon as we started generating income again, the most important thing on earth was to get back to this batch out because if we didn't have this stability for the owners and for the security of the salon, we don't know what's coming up. We don't know, you know, what 20, the rest of 2020 or the rest of 2021 has. So the most, most, most important thing we could do for our staff and our salon was go right back to where we were and start putting that money away because that money saved our lives and that money saved our salon. Here's the thing. Like I said, if I, we've just learned to live with the budget we've given ourselves. You know, we're not taking an amount away that's going to hurt the business, but we're setting just a good balance away that it's the right amount to be away, but we can still run a successful business without issues. At the end of the day, it's always your money. So if you feel like you put too much money, then you bring a little back if you have to. But the fact that it's not there, we never would have learned how to budget to a touch smaller amount because you spend what's in your wallet, right? I mean, if you have a hundred dollar bill, you spend a hundred dollar bill. You don't go to the store and say, well, I'm only going to spend 95 and put five back in my wallet. Nobody does that. But if somebody hands you $95, well, then you don't even know the other five existed because I've never touched it. I would say do it. I would say don't wait because tomorrow's not soon enough. It's like you never have enough money to have a baby. You never have enough money to buy a house. There's never the right time, right? Like we always think like, oh, as salon owners, well, I got to buy this or I got to buy that. And you never put yourself first. Tomorrow, call them. Tell them you want to do 1%. I mean, they can put 1% of your sales. They can put $1 for every $100 into a side account. And guess what? At the end of the day, it's still your account. So if some, I mean, start small, but whatever you do, start.